Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight, I thought I would show you our bedtime routine. I will chat a wee bit after we've started because we need to get Romy's dinner on now. But our routine, I love it. I love it so much. And we're gonna get started right now because we don't have the luxury of being able to fanny about. In here, we have some soup that I am going to heat up for Romy. I'm gonna put this in the microwave to heat it up now. And that's what's on the menu tonight. It is 10 past five, we're running a wee bit late. We usually sit down for dinner at five. Me and Jack have actually already had our dinner really, really early. I love it when we do that because by the time we get Romy down to bed, the night is my own. I've been fed, I can do whatever I like. So, and Romy's bedtime is about half six, but tonight it might be a wee bit early because she didn't sleep that much today. So I'm gonna get that heated up. I've got this, I need a spoon. I have our little silicon spoon, soup's on. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get Romy, we're gonna get ready to give it our dinner. Are you absolutely starving? Woo! In we get, yum, soup. We're gonna have soup. Well, I put this on you. These wee bibs are amazing, they keep their clothes clean. Can I have a salad, please? Oh, you look like girl. Sometimes we don't mind this, and sometimes we hate it. Whoa, oh my gosh, these little fingers. I put that in for too long because so it needs to cool down, so I'm actually going to transfer it from one pot to the other. This is a good hack. This cools it down quicker. And in this soup, oh my god, a bunch of stuff. We've got sweet potato, we've got onion, we've got we've got all sorts, but Romy absolutely loves it. And it's obviously just all like blended down. There we go, chicken pie. Oh, 1717, Romy. Lucky, lucky. She loves little finger food. These Ella's Kitchen sticks. I mean, I'm sure there's people that are going to say that they're not good. Romy loves holding them and eating them and you can kind of dip them in the soup a little bit. It's like a crouton, okay? Do you want this? Mm. <laughs> so just while our soup's cooling down, I'll let her cool that and have a wee munch. And the other thing that is unreal are these little feeders. I got these on Amazon. I got this from a, a posh baby company because they're in their neutral, right? But I've got bright pink ones that I got off Amazon as well. Put fruit or whatever you like in this. It's like a big dummy. She loves this with banana, don't you? It's your favourite. But alas, we ran out of bananas. So these things are unbelievable. I absolutely love them. And so do you, don't you, Romy Bear? She's looking at the camera. Are you, you love the camera. Having a kid literally turns you into a clown. I think Wayne's going pretty well. She There's some stuff she does not like. There's some textures and things like that that we've tried that's maybe a wee bit too early. She kind of hits the boat and has a wee cough. We're just trying loads of new stuff, aren't we? We went through three different types of dinner. The other night but the routine right now is so is so good she usually has a wee 20 minute nap around about four o'clock we'll play between her waking up and five and then we'll have dinner then usually we'll have a play after dinner and then we'll go for a bath and then do that whole routine but today like i said she didn't sleep that great she was away at her grand's and she woke up after 45 minutes and that's meant to be an hour and 45 minutes I wonder whether she was just aware that she wasn't at home but she's in good spirits relatively we'll see how that lasts <laughs> I think we'll just go straight from dinner and go and have our bath, if you agree. Because I think she might need to go down a wee bit early tonight before she gets overtired. We also really span out meal times. Like, we can do dinner from 5 o'clock till 5.45. Like, 45 minutes of just nibbling and snacking. You've eaten that whole thing. Oh my goodness me. Uh, she also, she got her first tooth, didn't you? Finally! Right, okay, I'm gonna wait for the soup to cool down and then we're gonna sit here and we're gonna spend half an hour having our dinner, aren't we? Right, I wasn't sure if she was quite finished. She ate all her soup, finished, everything's away, give her a wee tidy up and then I've given her another wee like handy food thing. It's like a wee like banana loaf thing. She loves it. She loves being able to do it herself. It's so good. You're so good at it as well. Drop it is literally right here. He's already caught wind that the baby will drop food on the floor. For breakfast, we do porridge mixed with a little bit of fresh banana. Sometimes we put in like the wee pouches, the wee fruit pouches. That's how we started because I was like, I did not know what to do. We're just trying little bits of everything. She likes certain things. She does not like certain things. We tried peas and she was sick. <laughs> she loves strawberries in the feeder, but I gave her a little bit just to try in her mouth the texture made her sick so it's just the, the wonderful world of weaning there's a couple of accounts on tiktok that i really like that are the recipes are for kind of older babies but i'm really excited 
excited. We're excited about it. It's been relatively smooth sailing for, for her. She loves her food. And yeah, for, for breakfast, we're finding the porridge is our favourite, mixed with like a bit of fresh banana. And then, like I said, she loves banana as well. You love it? Mm. Yeah. Also, those wee feeders that I showed you, you can make them into like ice poles when they're teething. Genius. It helped so much. I put watermelon in there. It was a cucumber. Pretty much on schedule. She'll finish this wee thing. Mm. Won't you? Mm. Mm. <laughs> and yeah, once we're done here, we'll move upstairs and go for a bubble bath. We're finished. Let me clean your paws. Sticky girl. Oh, sticky girl. Are you excited about a bath? Let's get this thing off of you. Woo! Oh, we still managed to get food all over you. You love water. So this wee cup's amazing as well. From Mushy. Do you want some more? I love you. You, you, yes I do, Rose, yes I do. Shall we go for a bath? brilliant but uh, we've upgraded to a sitting one and we've not tried it yet so this could go brilliant or awry let's check and we've got a little book yay is that good fun you're sitting up whoa 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 this is good this is a good little thing well the only thing that i quite liked about the other one is washing her hair was easier she's very distracted there we go oh is that nice as far as products go for her i love the Valida Calendula range. We're using Johnson's bedtime bath, which is not my favourite, if I'm going to be honest. And then this jug from Frida is great. You're meant to use this side, but I don't. I just pour it down the back. This is a really nice brand, Mini Bloom. It's on Cold Beauty, and it's a hair and body washing one. So we're going to do our wee body first. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, I feel like she's honestly grown months since last night. She's been playing with bath. <laughs> So what we do is we have our bubble bath, we take ages about this, we wash all our hair and our body. Since Romeo was tiny, we always poured a wee bit of water over her face just so she gets used to it. And I think it really helps with her not being scared of water. And I know it sounds really obvious, but you need to get in all the nooks and crannies, armpits, neck, behind your ears. She usually gives it all big chat in the bath, but I think this new seat is too exciting. <laughs> yeah. Do you love it? And then we use body oil. I really noticed that her skin got dry when she started rolling. <laughs> like her elbows and her knees and just like those kind of areas because they've never been used before. So this oil is amazing, it's ever eaten. I love it. And this bathroom's not done yet, you would just say the toilet is still like makes it's not a real toilet yet. But what we do have in here is underfloor heating and it's so nice for her like towels and stuff. And then before we do our bath, oh I forgot to do it. But before we do our bath, we usually get her nappy and, and her vest and her jammies and her socks. And then Mini Bloom have a really nice nappy cream called Diaper Relief Balm. Diaper Relief Balm. Right, nappy is on. I saw it on Black Friday, there was a deal on peaches. And I got them and they're so good. They're like soft, soft nappies. Oh, you're a clever girl. Let's get your clothes on you. You must be absolutely shattered. Oh my gosh, we're going so quick. But we know ducks go la 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 la. <sighs> it's like wrestling. I can only imagine what a toddler's like. You starving? This chair is from Mamas and Papas. Me got it as like a nursing chair. And we sit. And we have a little chat, don't we? We talk about our day, and we think about what we're going to dream about, and we have a wee song, and we tell stories, and we read. Her favourite is green eggs and ham. Jack's amazing at reading it to her. He's so good. And since she started weaning, she doesn't drink as much milk anymore. So we just see how much she wants, and then 
we'll have a cuddle and then we go around together. I'll put it in our sleeping bag. We use the sleeping bags from Baby Mori and they're so good. I've got a Dyson heater in here that I set at 19 just to make sure it doesn't go too cold. But I use it to heat up our room as well before because obviously it's, it's freezing just now. And that's what we do, isn't it? So she's really used to me talking and we have all the lights on for our last bottle to keep her awake so she doesn't fall asleep in my arms. And then she's amazing at going to bed now, aren't you? Mm. But she loves her room and we play in here now, but she never plays in her cot because that's her bedtime. And she's all cosy. The bath routine is so good. And actually I just realised I forgot to put her face cream on, but the Calendula Willida face cream is so brilliant. I love it. I might actually go and get it and put it on after her bottle anyway. Honestly, I knew this would happen. As soon as I'd get the camera out, there'd be things that I forget to do in her routine. I wrote it all down as well. But we've got our little library. I'll show you that before we put her to bed. Our routine is... It's quite strict, it is quite strict. We make sure she goes down at the same time and usually she'll sleep for like her full nap. So in the morning it can be uh, an hour and 45 minutes and then in the afternoon, in the morning it's usually actually, it's closer to like an hour and a half, an hour and 15 minutes. In the afternoon it's an hour and 45 minutes usually, if not a wee bit shy and then just a wee cat nap at four o'clock, which sometimes we just have a wee contact nap. It's my favorite as well. I think she'll be going to bed about 20 to seven tonight. And then she wakes up like clockwork at 10 to 6 every day, 10 to 6. And it's not upset either anymore. She used to wake up and cry, obviously, because she'd be a wee tiny baby and she'd be hungry. But I'd get woken up to, ma, ma, ma. And I'll come in here and the first thing I get is big snails usually. It's like, it's the, it's the best thing ever. We spoke to a sleep consultant that really, really helped us when we had a dummy for a bit. We got rid of it because that's what was waking her up for our daytime naps. Like I didn't know when to do the bottles. Before I spoke to the sleep consultant, she was having two full bottles a night. And I was like, we're never gonna get rid of this, like nighttime feeding. And we, can, we basically condensed the bottles into four from five or something like that. And it literally changed within four days. There was a huge difference. So Victoria really, really helped us. And like, we've got the schedule all printed out. So wherever she is, people just follow the schedule and it works really well. Sometimes we time our naps or naps are outside, or like when we're out and about or in the car. We get the occasional night that she'll like wake up, but usually she doesn't. Usually it's half six till 10 to six. You're doing really well, baby kid. Fill up, we'll put you in your bag. <laughs> Oh, it's a tired baby. Then we'll turn this on, your hatch. Turn this down. Boop. So I put her down literally like a minute ago and she flips over straight away and then that'll be her. She'll fall asleep in literally like 30 seconds or something. But she's not making any sound at all. It's amazing. It's a game changer, honestly. I'm going to reset the bath. I brought the sweet dog at the supermarket, but she loves it. And then the face cream that we use is this one here. It's great. You can see how much we've used. So that's 20 to 7. I've had my dinner. Baby sleeping. So I'm going to have my bath and I have to have a big bath tonight. Like an everything bath. My hair is caked in oil. My hair's probably the healthiest it's been in a long time, but it's just a bit awkward at the moment with my undercut. I've definitely got postpartum hair loss, but it's growing back and it's really fluffy at the front, so it's, it's kind of hard to deal with. But uh, I'm going to have a bath. I'm doing very extra, but I'm going to have a bath in the other bathroom because it's a really long bath. It's really good for washing my hair. But let's do this up. This is my favourite time of day, as well as everything that I've said before. <laughs> I actually wanted to do an everything bath. I forgot I did things that I did yesterday that I don't need to do today. I'm going to wash my face. This is the Kiehl's Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. A double cleanse of this is amazing. It's so sticky. The longing face cloths are the best. Redken shampoo. Acidic bonding concentrate. And then the Davines Nunu shampoo. You definitely don't need both, but I really like both. And then the Wave Scalp Scrubber. And I just go right around my whole scalp and just do a little massage. So I'm still losing hair, but nowhere near as much. Like, I think just a normal amount now. I think I'm over, I think I'm over it. Just from postpartum, my hair was falling out quite bad, but 
I think the stuff I've been using has really helped. And then I'm gonna do a mask tonight. So this is the Acidic Body Concentrate Liquid Mask and it's just five minutes, but I am gonna leave it on longer. I'm gonna put the mask in my hair and then I'm gonna do my body stuff. I'm actually gonna read a lot about my book in the bath. It's one of my favorite things to do. What's the book called? Bread the, I'm reading The Bridge Kingdom at the moment. And I'm only applying the mask mid length to ends and a wee touch in my front, but nowhere near the roots of my hair. And then I'll wash out under a shower and then give it a cold shot. And for my body, I'm going to use my Vive Bath and Body Soak. This is what I've got in my bath already. I have gone through so many of these because of testing and then the fact that I can actually use it and talk about it. But it is the most amazing creamy lather. Oh, it smells so good. I'm going to just marinate and then finish off my bath and we'll reconvene for skincare because I've got things to say. I've got things to say. My routine at the moment has been super simple. I talked about it recently but I think I swapped to another toothpaste because we ran out and I think my skin's having a bad reaction to it because I've never had this kind of like weird patchiness. But it's so weird. And it's the only thing that I've changed recently because everything else I've been using for months. First thing I'm going to do is get Omar Vita Queen of Hungry Mist. Forgot how much I love this, so I just do that all over. Next is Skin and Me. I've talked about this a wee bit, it's a subscription service. I really like it. I've been using it for like a month and a half. Rub that in and let it sit. I don't know what is causing this because it's not any of my skincare. My skin's been so good, I'm gutted. Just let that dry in and it properly like dries in. And then for moisturiser on top, I'm actually going to use Skin Nova XL just because it's giving me that hydration that I need and it works really well with the skin in me. Some other products are kind of pilling with it, but this doesn't. And then I'm going to do my eye cream. I'm going to use the Drunk Elephant C Tango Multivitamin. I love this. Since having no me, I just feel like I need eye cream more than ever. My eyes feel dry and not good. I want to give honorary mention to something that I'm not going to do tonight because I did it this morning. But this is my LED mask. I talked about this in my last video. It's so good. You literally just strap this onto your face and do whatever setting you want. So I've been either doing the anti-aging or the complete setting. So if I show you, you can see red, orange, green, and then this is the complete setting. So it does like a little bit of all of it. I love this mask. It is on the pricier side, but it's not as pricey as some of the LED masks I've seen. And this is proper strong. Like it's, it's a really good, I don't know how you say it, like a good grade or something. I'm just gonna lock everything in with more moisture. Apart from my kind of weird little rashy moments, my skin has been so good. It's literally just around my eye. That's so weird. I'm obsessed still with the necessary deodorant gel. It's my thing. It's so good. And then I'm just gonna brush my hair and we'll see if there's much in the way of damage. Oh guys, look at this undercut. It's not an undercut anymore. It's like a long bob. I think I've got I don't know how many inches that is, maybe like five inches to go, that much, but it's not bad. The other the rest of it's getting long though, so I don't want to cut it. So I don't know what to do. And really not not that much hair is coming out. I'm so happy about that. The two products that I've been using, you can see that I'm like almost done. I've got the Acne Acre Cold Press Scalp Detox and the Cold Press Stem Cell Serum. So I do the stem cell serum most days and I just put it like there and it dries in and you can still style your hair which is good but see if I show you it look at all this regrowth that's amazing it's just honestly make the before and afters on their website are nuts and I just give that like a good massage in it was here that I mostly lost my hair so I use the serum most days and then the oil I'll do like once a week before I wash my hair because my scalp has been crazy but this has really helped and then I'm just going to put a wee bit of the Davines Oi oil on my ends so there you can see my skin. You can see this weird rash. I've honestly I've got no idea where it came from. That's happened in the last day. Weird. But there's part of my chin's been here for a while. I feel like with the dark hair and the paler skin, I'm looking like <laughs> 20 year old me. Not in a good way. I'm just gonna use some of the summer Fridays butter balm. It's really nice. That's the hair care, the skin care, the baby care. And now I'm gonna go and put my jammies on and we're gonna get cozy with a book. <sighs> <laughs> Good big dog. We were not letting the dogs in the bed for the longest time, but this big guy has started just coming in anyway. So the book I'm reading at the moment is called Bridge Kingdom. It was recommended to me by an old friend that I used to work with. I'm not a fan of this, but obviously I am. But I've got the Kindle app on my phone, and I do just sit and read on my phone. 
before I go to bed. I need to find my Kindle. I've got no idea where it is. And I was even toying with the idea of buying real books again, but I'm too, I'm too deep into this. I've got so many books on my Kindle that if I was to buy them all, it'd be a fortune. And I've read them, so would I read them again? Some of them, yes, but most of them, no. I'm literally 6% into this book, so I'm happy. And if you're wondering why I look weird, I used to never film this side of my face. I don't know why. This side of my face goes up more, so I like it better. And then this side goes down, but I mean, it's my face, so like it or lump it. And actually, this is a bit funny because I wanted to give you the vibe, like this would be me in an ideal world, but I've actually got quite a lot of stuff to do tonight. So I need to get back at my bed uh, and go and do it. I need to pack for something, sort out downstairs a wee bit, but this is the vibe. I need to finish the video though. So this is the vibe, this is me, read my book. Okay. I love this big dog, oh, I'm so big dog. So you guys, that's my baby and mum routine. I hope you liked it. If you've got any questions at all, please ask away. I feel a little bit vulnerable. I always do whatever I'm sharing my parenting, if I'm honest. But that was a really realistic little night of night in our life. I do have a bath every single night. It's not like that. Sometimes it's just in and out. But that was like a that was a little a little spa bath. Anyway, but I do do my skincare every night. I just try and have that moment for myself. It makes me feel like a human. It makes me feel like myself. If I don't do all of that, I sleep like shit. That's it. Hope you liked it. I think this will be the last time I see you before Christmas. So I hope you have a great Christmas if you celebrate and happy holidays. And hopefully you get some time off regardless. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. My God, that's not. <laughs> so Jack's fighting the dishwasher. Look, I've come out and hi. Bobby, just saying goodbye to you. This chair has been amazing. Can you even see me? Oh God. It's probably the healthiest that she's got her grubby little paw prints on this. Oh god, that's very sobering. I thought I was gonna look ten times better.